Yo, welcome, Fernie. So if you're here searching for that video, you probably realize that Solent is one of the biggest bottlenecks in the game. It's sometimes specifically hard to farm, but we're going to go over five different tips on how to farm Solent to always make sure that your supply is stacked. The most reliable source, but also the pay to win source is um, just buying those kind of materials. You will see they are selling for 288 all the way up to 432,000 Solent per piece. This is a good ratio and allows you to convert your Lucent into Solent with that way. But also as a free to play player, you can obviously farm all of those gems and then do the same with it. The best way to farm those gems is just doing open world dungeons. Whenever you have your Abyssal Contract token stacked up and make sure that when you're going into those dungeons, you have a high Abyssal Dungeon token efficiency. And you can reach that by crafting the food Golden Apple Pie that is giving you 10%. And you can collect lots of Ami Toys. You can check it here in the Lithograph book. The more Ami Toys you have in total, the higher your Abyssal Contract token efficiency will get. And you will also have the Pulse Synergies so the more of those army toys that you combine for that um, bonus right here will increase your abyssal contract token efficiency as well also something you should focus here is the item chance that is just increasing your drop rate in general and will allow you to get more games then the next one is not as viable in the early game but once you are getting to a point where you're dealing a decent amount of damage and your party of six men can clear dungeons fast then you will just spam dungeons even though you may not have any tokens and you will just do so to get um, trade extraction stones precious polish crystal from the mini bosses and the soul land from the boss loot if you're doing that fast you can get over 1. million soul land per hour it's a reliable source and you can even increase that by decreasing your party size so if you are at some point so decked out you have so much damage that you can also do it properly and like maybe with only four people then you will do it with four people and the gold that the other two people would have been getting is now being shared between the other four people as well then also something you should be aware of the events that you're participating can also give you solent so for example you're playing a dynamic event like the hidden brown mika that i did here you're getting a decent reward, like personal performance can give you Solent, your normal um, placement can give you Solent, and also your guild contracts, if you perform well on them, will also give you Solent, and sometimes also some mystic um, globe keys as well, on top of the five that you're buying every day at the contract coin merchant. So this is a nice addition if you can maybe combine things like this. And the last tip is the contracts here. Try to do it in one of the high areas, most preferably at Watcher's Post, because those contracts, if you do them daily, will give you 750,000 Solent. Yeah, guys, that was it with the video. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys. Uh -huh.